Today, I'm going to be breaking down normally by Joe Boy featuring Benson and Udamudu Black, where as usual, I'm going to be talking you through the various elements that I'm picking up on as we go through it. In terms of the overall themes of the track, normally appears to be a declaration of the artist's journeys and their determination to live life on their own terms, carrying with it a central theme of resilience and the pursuit of a better life. Now, before we do actually go ahead and get into the video, if you're interested in my setup, i.e. headphones, mic, camera, I put links to those in the description. So if you wanna check those out, then you can. Also, if you're on TikTok and you wanna drop us a follow or show us some love then by all means feel free let's get it oh, i think i drink too much see my bros then turn up Okay, right, so we're actually gonna stop it there and I appreciate I'm stopping it early, but there is a reason why I'm doing so and that's because of the song structure. So for those of you that don't know, the song structure here is pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, outro, right? So it makes sense and just to kind of keep things a little bit more easier to follow along with that we break down the intro first and then get into the other stuff. So the first thing that we hear within the intro are two sets of keys and what sounds like two sets of keys. First one playing some really simple but really nice chords and the second one has got this almost reverse effect put onto it. But these two things together are doing a really, really nice job of setting the tone, the feel, the vibe, and all of that good stuff. Then as we progress on, we get these bare bone or these kind of basic percussions come in, so nothing heavy like a kick drum or anything like that. And at the same time as those percussions coming in, we also get this really nice, soft bass that's brought into the mix, and that's just doing a really good job of bringing warmth to that intro. And the thing that transitions us out of the intro into the pre-chorus is we get a double hit on the kick drum. So let's go back, let's listen. Right, keys. And listen to that reverse set there. Oh, I think I drink too much. Percussions. Soft bass in there now. See my bros, them turn up, get my brother. Feel like shit, no, and I'm on Tana. Throw my chair, go about my day, no, but I like stress and I know like drama. When we hit the club, it's a champagne shower. Only see harmonies, mate. Can't understand there's a higher power. And we special, and we not do no man, no. No money, no money, no money, no money. No money, no money, no money. No money, no money, no money. Okay, right, so before we go ahead and get into Benson's verse, let's break down what we've heard in both the pre-chorus and in the chorus. So the first and most obvious thing that we hear within the pre-chorus is Joe Boy's vocals, they get brought into the mix. But if you pay attention to what happens in the first segment of the pre-chorus, you notice that the instrumental actually gets stripped back. So the beat and the bass are removed from the track. That reverse sound that we were talking about, that's still in the mix, but it's definitely much more subtle in the pre-chorus than what it was in the intro. As we progress on and we hit the second segment of the pre-chorus, this is where the kick drum and the bass comes back into the mix, but this is also where we can hear Joe Boy's vocals. They start to become layered, harmonized, and we also get some cheeky ad-libs thrown in there just for good measure. We shift over to the chorus and something interesting happens. The kick drum gets removed again, but it does come back in in the second segment. And another thing to pay attention to is the bass. You pay attention to the bass in the uh, chorus, compare it to the pre-chorus, it's definitely much more fatter, much more prominent in the chorus. And then the final thing to pay attention to is this higher range layer that we get come in within the chorus. And it's dung dung, but it's not there all the time. It only comes in every now and again. It's not a constant theme throughout the chorus. So let's go back, let's listen. See 
Bring my bros, them turn up. Get Strip my back. brother. Feel like shit, no, and I'm on Tana. No Throw kick drum. No bass. Day, no, but I like stress and I know like drama. Back in now. When we hit the club, it's a shanty there. shower. Only see blessings, never see our. Lay it vocals. I understand there's a higher power. And we special, and we not do no man. No, no man. Kick no drum gone. No man, no man. No money, no money, no money, no money, no money, no money. There's a higher range sound. No money, 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 no it goes surely better. Now when you sing my song like even chaka chaka. Now we live in better. No more chaka chaka. Olu a blessing my face, so I'm moving proper. Hallelujah. Oh no, Papa. We should just sing this here my root up. If not right now, man, I go see you later. Not if you nice layers. If you know people happy no more. Hallelujah. Oh no, Papa. We should just sing this here my root up. If not right now, man, I go see you later. Not if you shake me. If you know people happy no more. All right, so before we get into the next segment of the verse, right, let's cover off Benson's flow and his contribution to the track. So there are definitely repeated themes from the pre-chorus and chorus that are happening here within the verse. So, for example, you notice that when we first hit that verse, the instrumental, that gets stripped back, right? So no kick drum, no bass. But again, very much like the pre-chorus and the chorus, as we progress through the verse, we can hear the kick drum, the bass that comes in, but we can also hear these additional layers that we've already discussed from the pre-chorus and the chorus being brought back into the mix. Again, pay attention to the vocals. As we head towards the back end, we can hear that the vocals become layered, they become harmonized, and we also get some ad-libs in there as well. The only difference between Joe Boy and Benson's um, kind of layering of the vocals is that with Benson, we actually get this higher range that comes in. Definitely something we didn't hear from Joe Boy. Let's go back. Let's listen. Get yeah, back. Now why we the bond trees, the shaky spirit Remember when we no care, say would you believe it? Man, I got a couple friends to confirm the lyrics You wouldn't believe it, no man, no man It goes surely better Kick drum Man's back in now song, like even chaka chaka. Ace back in now as well better. No more jaga jaga Olu a blessing my face, so I'm moving proper Hallelujah, oh no, hope I Wish I just sing this Other sounds, other layers I know, man, I go see you later Not if you do shake me If you know if I'm happy, no man Hallelujah Physically, I be like person with drink and go. Spiritually, my charge is the block of Olu show. Fuck up any flow, modu go turn up any show. Kata kata ranger, all gonna be cool. Anytime we pull up, them go do pressure. Yaki lay the hustle for my bone, leisure. Pleasure when I use it as a weapon. You think they be like, see our body done the tremor. Many men to a man, many men to a man, and I've been the fire by Men them to a man. That bangs those layers together, bro. Normally I bad. Diligent soldier mode covered by the spirit. Joe was settled for your glory, put you roll it up. Take ten dogs before a lock back on me toss. Nobody go be for their turn up, get my brother. Okay, right, let's cover off Udamudu's part. Now, I'm not going to go through the repeated themes that within the track, so things being stripped out and all that sort of stuff, because we've already discussed it. So we don't need to go through it again. But what I do want to talk about is what's happening to Udamudu's uh, vocals. So what we notice here is that some, if not all, of his back-end phrases are being layered. They've got a really nice dose of reverb, delay, echo, you know, whichever one it is could potentially be all three added to them as well to help carry them through. Another thing that I notice is that we actually get quite a few filler vocals. So whether that's a sound, whether it's a, a noise, whether it's a one-off phrase, they're in there pretty much throughout the entirety of the verse. 
But the thing that I like most about the verse is the middle section where it kind of transitions over to singing. We get this lower range uh, uh, vocal come in from Udumudu, but we also get this higher range vocal come in from Benson as well. And it just absolutely bangs. The two things together is an absolute touch. Let's go back, let's listen. Coming in, listen. Physically, I be like person with drink a go. Spiritually, my charge is the block of a show. Fuck up any flow, modu go turn up any show. Kata kata ranger, oga ne go. Any time we pull up, them go do. Treasure, ya kill the hustle for my bone. Leisure, pleasure, when I use it as a weapon. You think they be like see our body done the treble? Many men to a man. Fusion of vocals there. Normally I bad. Diligent soldier mode covered by the spirit. Joe, I settle for your glory. Could you roll it up? Take ten dogs before a locker come here me toss. Nobody go be for their turn up. Get my brother. Feel like shit. No one a Montana. Throw my Jago up at my gate. No brother like strength. Yeah, that absolutely bangs just very quickly. Obviously, we're in the pre-chorus now. We're going to hit the chorus and then we're going to be seen out into the intro. But just pay attention to what's happened here in the uh, in this pre-chorus is now we've got a saxophone come into the mix, right? Absolutely bangs. Really nice touch to add on just as we're getting towards the end, right? Let's listen. There. We're back now. No beat at all, no percussions. Now we just got those keys left in there. Yeah, bangs, mate. Okay, that's it for me. If you want to see more breakdown and analysis videos, there'll be things popping up on the screen right now. Other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you in the next one.